Hello and welcome to MIDI's Tech Circle here. Um, yeah, we have a new build of the Android 8.0 official Oreo ROM with the Samsung Experience 9.0. So if you have followed my channel since the last week, you um, may know that um, the Android 8.0 Oreo is available in off unofficially um, to flash over TVRP. So I have also on my channel here um, and a guide how you can uh, make this possible on your Galaxy S7 Edge with an Exynos processor. And yeah, we have a new build as I said before and um, what you will notice is that um, we have many, many fixes here. So we don't have any random reboots anymore. So also after the installation, I didn't had one reboot here. So no reboots in this ROM. This is really nice because uh, that shows us that um, it's, yeah, there are many bug fixes here, um, which are now provided by Samsung's newer firmwares. And um, also battery life is much better. So they improved the battery life also. So um, I got over three and a half hours screen on time. Or sometimes I can also get four or to five hours screen on time. So that depends on how you are using your phone. And um, yeah, but battery is much improved here. Um, also things like the edge feed now works. Private mode is also now working. Slow-mo video recording is also, also working now. So this was also fixed. Um, and the biggest fix is that, um, yeah, in the last ROM, there was an issue for users who had an S7 Edge with a Wi-Fi chip, not from Samsung, so from another company called Murata. They had an issue that they had a really low Wi-Fi signal. And um, this is also now fixed. So also, guys, when you have a Wi-Fi chip not from Samsung, you will have just um, usual Wi-Fi um, wi signal, so um, not really weak signal there. And um, also some new things are added in this ROM. So um, the first one which I um, found is in the data usage. You have now a new, um, a new design for your data usage. So you have now a circle here which shows you how many um, data you have used. Um, and what is your current, um, your data usage limit you have set. So this is nice. And um, the next thing which is provided in this ROM, um, but that doesn't mean that you will all get this in the official ROM because sometimes these features are region, um, it, just for some regions here. Uh, one is the app lock feature you have here in this ROM. And um, the next thing is floating messages. So this is also here enabled in this ROM. Um, yeah, so that's something which is added. So I would now show you in the about phone section, the new build number. So uh, here you can see that the build number is now the news with ERB6. So uh, the developer um, is one uh, member from Samsung Vietnam block and uh, he, he is the leaker who gave us all the uh, previous versions and um, now he also opened a thread in XDA and one major bug in this ROM which many people are experiencing is that um, your your heart rate sensor light it's a red light um, at the heart rate sensor is always on when you um, touch it or when you um, let down your S7 Edge on a table or something is near to the heart rate sensor, it will activate this red LED light in the heart rate sensor. And this is a really high battery drain. And um, I also experienced this issue. So I tried to reboot, but um, yeah, that's just a temporary fix because when you reboot your phone, it will just fix this issue for, <clears throat> sorry, it will just fix the issue for, I think maybe three hours and then this light will always be on also in standby. But uh, someone um, has provided us a, a fix. So because the ROM is 
pre-rooted with Magisk, we have the ability to go into a explorer, so a root explorer. I am using the, so this is the ES file explorer, <clears throat> but it's, it doesn't matter which file explorer you're using. So you go to device in this, um, in this root explorer, for example, then you go to the folder system, then you go to vendor here, then to lib64, you tab on it, then you scroll down until you see lib, um, libhr.so. So you, ha you will have a file which is called libhrso. Um, on mine, so how to fix it is easy. You go to rename and then you add, like I have done, this BAK. So, so normally it's just libhr.so, but then you will add just dot .bak, so you have um, saved this file, but it will not correspond with the system. So then you will just reboot your device and um, this should fix the issue. But you will have to note that if you have changed this file, you can't anymore go into S-Health and measure your um, heart rate because this will permanently deactivate or um, yes, this will deactivate the um, heart rate sensor. But uh, with this, it is fixed. So um, yeah, we have to wait until um, a fix is there. So yeah, that's it. So I would now really recommend to install this ROM because it's uh, now also really usable for the daily use of your Galaxy S7 Edge with practically non big bugs, uh, just except for this one uh, with the heart rate sensor, but there is a fix. So um, that should not be a big deal. And yeah, definitely check out here the thread of um, of the leaker. I will put um, the link to his uh, to um, Ipgia his um, post here down below, so you can download the ROM. And um, also, what you have to note, you don't have anymore to flash the no verity apt encrypt zip. So that's it. Basically, I hope you enjoyed this video. And also, um, if you have any problems or questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. I will answer them all. And you can also contact me on Twitter. So uh, my link to my Twitter account is there. Also, let me know, please, what you think about my new channel name. Channel name. So um, Medis Tech Circle. I will also update my profile picture and the intro. So let me know what can I do better or if you just enjoy it like this. And uh, I hope that you will soon be back on this channel. Bye everyone.